It's a sad problem and ugly secret, the abuse of our elderly. It's estimated more than 2 million Americans over 65 have been a victim of physical harm or neglect by their primary caregiver. Experts believe elder abuse is vastly underreported, and the Tennessee Commission on Aging and Disability estimates only one in 23 cases in the state is ever discovered. UT and TSU Extension agents are working here in Lauderdale County to increase awareness of this issue. The awareness to let people know if this happens to you, where to get help, if this happens to someone you know, where to get them help. Rachel Howell coordinates an elder abuse workshop for community leaders on how to recognize signs of abuse and how to go about reporting it. She says abuse isn't just physical, but can also be emotional, verbal, and financial. You don't speak to them properly, you don't take care of them, um, you neglect them, you take their money. Um, there's all kinds of abuse when it pertains to elderly, and it's just not detected until most of the time a death occurs. You just heard the word money there. Elders lose an estimated two and a half billion dollars annually to financial abuse, exploitation, scams, and just relative stealing from them. Sadly, that's money that could go for food, housing, or medical care. Regardless of what form abuse takes, often the victim suffers silently. Experts say many elderly people don't report what's happening to them because they rely on their abuser, often a family member, to meet their basic needs. They might not be as, as apt to uh, voice their concerns for fear of retribution. And that is, that is probably the biggest thing that concerns me is that they're afraid to come forward to tell anybody that can help them. But Cook says if elderly victims don't speak up, we should take the responsibility to report suspected abuse. And that's what this awareness campaign is all about. Many elderly people have cared for others in their lifetimes, and now it's time for us to care for them. This is Chuck Denny reporting.